This is Jane from SE4. I'm going to show you how to use Ford Vitals. It's very simple to use and you can use it from on or off campus. So let's say you've created your own Board Vitals password as explained in the link on that library guide, Board Vitals library guide. So you already have your username and password set up. You can either go to the library homepage by Googling SC4 library and then databases A to Z, or you can go directly to Board Vitals by just typing in boardvitals.com. Then, scroll to the login link. I have my login saved to my laptop here and I'm going right to Board Vitals. We've, SC4 has purchased four modules in the Board Vitals suite, so we want to go to NCLEX RN. I can customize my own exam, and this only you will see the results, so you can take as many practice tests as you want and create it in any subject area you want. So you can choose your difficulty level and then select a subject. And I'm going to go down to safe and effective care environment, management of care. Um, we could select all the topics if we wanted to. I'm just choosing this one. By default, it sets up your exam in test mode, which is timed, which is just like the NCLEX exam itself. But I want to go to study review mode. And that will give me explanations while I'm taking the exam. So if I get something wrong, it'll tell me the correct answer and why mine is wrong. So I'm going to create my exam. It will create an exam with 50 questions, but you can change that for anything up to 50. So I'm just choosing three. Create my exam. And it comes up with my three questions. Um, so it gives me the question, and then over here are multiple choice responses. So just to save time, I'm going to choose one, B, which was incorrect. No surprise there. I'm not a nurse, and I didn't read the question either. But, um, so let's say, why? Why was it wrong? You want to know. You can click on Show Explanation and it explains the correct answer and why the other answers are incorrect. Tells you a concept and it also gives you references. So if you wanted to find out more information on this topic, you could uh, look up these articles or sections. So let's say, oh, I got it wrong, so I wanna go over it later, or you had a hard time answering it, you answered it correctly, but it was kind of questionable for you, you can flag the question for later and then go on to the next question. Later, anytime later, even can be months later, you can go right to log in and go right to your flagged questions. And these are questions that you flagged yourself and you can create an exam of your flagged questions. So you could like select all, and create an exam at the bottom and then take those questions over again if you wanted to. So that was very briefly how to use Board Vitals. It's very simple to use. It's anonymous unless your instructor sends you a test because because your instructors can create little tests or quizzes in Board Vitals and send you the link to that test. Um, and then you would send your results to your instructor. But otherwise, you can use it anytime, you, anywhere you have internet access. And ask us in the library if you need help. Thank you.